Titanic gaming The channel where Logan will show you everything From gameplay to gear, their crew is here To take you on a journey through every atmosphere Releases to news, you don't have to choose Red Bandana Gaming is here for you Hey everybody, Logan here, back, finally with another unboxing and you you know that you know what I'm unboxing. I clicked on the video, so yeah, you want to see me unbox this? Oh, the Aqua Shift, such a weird name. Microsoft is getting really creative, maybe overly creative with the names, but that's fine. So before we get any further into the video, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button share this video make sure you head on over to our spring shop link in the description below where you can get all kinds of great red bandana gaming merchandise such as shirts phone cases pillows you name it i would really help us out it keeps us making these videos helps us be able to buy stuff like this because we know they don't give this away for free well not to my size channels but hey maybe soon but without any further ado let me stop self-promoting. But hey, someone's got to. We're going to uh, compare this with the standard Series XS controller. Going to take a look at the differences uh, after we open it and just see how they stack up and see, is it really worth the 70 bucks? Yeah, this thing's $70. So let's take a look. All righty. So here we go. Here's the Aqua Shift Xbox controller. So, like we always do, we knock the camera. <laughs> Ever so I, wow, that could have been dangerous. So that's the back of the box. As you can see, it shows all the, the standard features, but, and surreal shimmer. It's got a surreal shimmer. And, uh, oh, I was wondering, I was like, why can't I read that? Cause it's not in English. Share button, Xbox wireless, uh, and Bluetooth grip texture. Texture grip, sorry. Because I can't read today for some reason. Oh, wow, look at that. Whoa. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. I had to get this controller because, well, blue is... Personally, my favorite color, even though the channel's red, so it's it's a toss-up. It's a it's a fight between red and blue. Ha! Um, looks like red's winning. But blue, I I, I like all kinds of. I, my last Camaro was in blue, so oh, those grips are really nice. I like the colors. The dark blue on the back. Wow, they just went all out. Everything's a different blue except for <laughs> the triggers in the face. But that is really nice. Still feels the same way. You got the blue up in there. Blue on the buttons. Yeah, so this is the standard plastic texture back. This is the, whoops, the rubber texture. Xbox wireless controller. So I do have rechargeable batteries that I'll put in here, but that is gorgeous. Now, like I said, let's compare it to the regular. It's really not going to be too different. Color, you got the buttons, um, the face buttons, the ABX and Y, but the real thing is going to be the back. All right, here you got that plastic grip. Here's the rubber grip. Uh, the rubber grip looks like it's been tie-dyed, but uh, I think this is where the big... Um, I guess price differences. Is that really worth that much more? I don't know. It's a beautiful controller. I will say that. It's much better than a standard plain one. Feels just as good. Every button seems to be just as clicky. Is that? Oh, it's a shadow. Still type C. All oh, the beautiful blue. Matches my shirt today. Mm. So there you go. Quick, painless unboxing, comparison. 
Let's see, is there anything else? Did they give stickers or anything? There's the... Ah, uh, they give the the 14 day Game Pass trial, which I've given away a couple of those to subscribers and uh, to some friends of the channel. So I have plenty of those. If you guys decide to hit that subscribe button, I do tend to do that and give out uh, Xbox Live codes. I gave some during uh, uh, one of the streams and then uh, to another one to a subscriber. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. Hopefully, this will help you decide whether or not you want this controller. Is it worth $70? It's the first time I've paid full price without a certificate or any kind of coupons or anything, and it's kind of oof, but is what it is. Um, tell me what you guys think, if you think it's worth it. I personally don't because I think $70 is a lot for a controller that just has extra grips. It's a gorgeous color, but hey, to each their own. If you like it, go ahead. If not, wait for it to go on sale. I think that would be fine too. They do tend to go on sale, especially around the holidays. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. Make sure to head on over to our spring shop, link in the description below, like we mentioned earlier. Get yourself some great Red Bandana Gaming merch. Follow us on our socials at Red Bandana Gaming on Instagram and Facebook at RBG, under, uh, at RBG underscore Twitter. Sorry, no, RBG... I'll get this right. At RBG underscore Retro on Twitter. There you go. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Like we always say, be legendary. Thanks again.